Jamie, Paul, Sean, Kristen, Chris, Aaron, and Matthew. It is so great to be here with you guys to talk about um, all that in Zoe 101. Let's go ahead and get started. We have nine minutes, so I'm going to take all the nine minutes that I have. So, Jamie, let's start off with you, my dear. You were making a return to Nickelodeon, and you were fitting all your reunions in one place as you reprised the role of Thelma Stump, and you were also joined by your castmates, of course, from Zoe 101. So how exciting is it for you to return to Nickelodeon once again, my dear? Um, well, Nickelodeon has always been so good to me through, um, like, just literally through my childhood. And so I was, um, I had a meeting with Nickelodeon about something and they were like, would you like to come on all that? And I was like, yeah, I was like, I'd love to, I kind of said, why don't we just like invite the cast of Zoe? Let's just knock it all out at once. Cause you know, the Zoe fans have been wanting to do it and where's a better place to do it than on Nickelodeon on all that, where I got my start. So um, we kind of threw around some ideas and I said, why don't I be Thelma Stump and have the Zoe cast come to watch the show or something like that. And the writers made it happen. And thankfully, um, most everyone was down to do it. And um, it was just a perfect, it was a perfect timing. And of course, it's going to be on Nickelodeon and it should be where I started. Yeah. Oh, look at you, Jamie. It's really just been so great to see all of, you know, the careers that you guys have made for your own selves and just how everything has blossomed for each one of you guys. But what would you all say was your favorite moment from working together as a cast on Zoe 101 as the show has now been off the air, I think, for 11 years? Uh, let's start off with you, Kristen, and then we'll go to Chris, Aaron Matthew, Jamie, Paul, and Sean. Um, for me personally, um, again, when we first got together, when the show first started to film, um, I think it was just like an automatic connection between everybody um, to the point where we all felt like we're friends. And, you know, when lunch came around, we all were hanging out and eating together. So um, it was just super exciting for all of us to start a show that at that time, we didn't know how big it was going to be blow up to be mm -hmm. um and to, to kind of see that unravel has been super rewarding and yeah it's just been super fun experience for you know not only myself i know everybody else as well too um to got, get to know, know them not only with their characters but also on a personal level which created friendships that still to this day we are communicating and again it's almost even though a lot of time has passed by it feels like none has really passed really because it's just been you know back to day one with where we started so yeah it's just been a fun experience and i'm I'm just so happy and grateful to be a part of it and it's just been a super fun experience um for myself personally and i know for all of us in general uh i just like I, i've said it before but i i've loved every moment on the set i think the one thing that stood out the most is probably uh <clears throat> the obviously the family that i've grown to love now but also being a part of like the history of like pepperdine now and like <laughs> Alibu. Right. It's really interesting because like I knew a, a girl who went to Pepperdine and she literally told me that she goes like I, I don't know I guess when they do the uh, tour of the school she goes yeah they told us that Zoe 101 was filmed here she, like, wow. she was like she it blew her mind because I guess she didn't know because she's not from California so she was just like oh my god I knew it you know so it was just it's really crazy to think that like even out of all these years like you said 11 years have gone by and it's like still it's a staple part of like Malibu and uh, part of Pepperdine I feel where, old yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. yeah I'm I like that. I have kids now too so we have kids. we all feel old <laughs> definitely oh like it's just like whoa <laughs> How about for you, Aaron? For me, growing up on this show was my high school experience. These people oh. were my life. We saw each other every day. And uh -huh. echoing what Jamie has said, when you have a group of people that get along together so well and work together so well, it's something that you love to do. I love to show up there every day and hang out with my friends. Like that's every person's dream. And especially as a kid, it's just utterly surreal as a kid and a teenager to be able to go get paid for it, first of all to hang out with your best friends and do the thing you love more than anything else in the most beautiful location it's just absolutely surreal that is that is literally what we were doing it's it's wild that's right Erin a big 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 paycheck that's right to hang out with your friends uh -huh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my goodness but I mean hey I mean I, I I wish I was doing that in high school but you know what I was doing in high school you guys I was doing interviews like what I'm doing right now I've had such a passion and I love to do interviews and awesome. um yeah look and, and look I'm here with you guys I never thought in, in my 
years of doing this that I would ever be able to talk with you guys. Because my, you know, I had a twin sister, and I told her I was going to get to speak with you guys. And you know, because we <laughs> grew up watching this on Nickelodeon. I mean, you know, Zoe uh -huh. 101, Drake and Josh, and you know, all the all the shows on the Nick, you know, Nick, Nickelodeon channel. Nick, 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 Nick. Uh huh. So uh, Nickelodeon. Yeah, they, there you go. Yeah, there you go. So yeah. <laughs> This is a whole lot of fun, but uh, let's go ahead and get to the next question because I know we're going to have to wrap up here shortly. But for all the diehard Zoe 101 fans out there, could we ever see the show return like as a spinoff with like a full length season with all of you guys together? You know, because we've seen that with Disney with Raven Simone for That's So Raven that has now, you know, turned into Raven's home. Um, I think that that would be the ultimate goal. And um, as I've said before, those conversations are being had and um, Nickelodeon is uh -huh. definitely in the mix with all of that, but it's, um, about because our fans were so connect connected to our characters, I feel like they would want to know where they are now. And it would have to be a bit more finding a home for it where we could tell a more young adult story as to where they are now. I think that that's, what's important. Of course, staying true to, you know, where they started Nickelodeon and being sure that that's, you know, all, of, all in the mix with what we're doing. But I think that it's important for us to um, connect with our fans because that's why the show worked. We really connected where our fans were at that time and there were so many different storylines and characters that were so different mm -hmm. that I think it's important for us to continue with that theme if we want to do it successfully. So it's, um, you know, it's definitely the ultimate goal for us to be able to continue these stories and, um, you know, figure out where they are now and not just um, continue where they were when they were obviously, you know, 13, 14 years old. <laughs> right. Well, my last question is for you, Jamie. You know, you were a series regular on the original All That from 2002 to 2004, and then with Zoe 101 from 05 to 08. But obviously, Nickelodeon, they must have liked you so much from All That that they decided to give you your very own show with your castmates from Zoe 101. So what was your reaction when Nickelodeon approached you to play the lead as Zoe, or kind of how did that all come about for you? Um, I guess, honestly, I was so young, I wasn't aware of what a huge blessing that is. That's the problem with being young you aren't aware of anything you're taking for granted but yeah. for me it was really cool not only did they want to know you know discuss doing a show with me as the lead but they wanted my input on what i thought would be you know important for the character and and that was really cool because first off a network wanted to hear what a kid had to say and what i wanted to do and i thought that was really neat and um you know, we just had a lot of conversations and then one day it was like, oh my gosh, it's really happening. I'm getting to do what I've always dreamed of. So the mm -hmm. first day that I walked on set, it was just kind of like, it was just a dream come true. It really, really was for me. And um, I'll always remember mm -hmm. that. And I'll always remember how good Nickelodeon was to me as well. And um, that's something that oh. carries over into what I, when I go on set, any show that I do now, I always mm -hmm. remember, um, you know, what a blessing it is because it, it really is. Oh, I love that you guys are all so humble. I mean, you know what? That That is so great because I know some now that aren't. Mm, but I, I'm not going to name any names now. You know, so, yeah. So everyone will just have to imagine who they are. But anyway. <laughs> Paul, you got to tell us. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. You know what? Maybe I'll tell you don't off camera. Tell them like that. Don't tell them. We'll give you an extra minute. Okay. Okay. Listen. There you go. Yes, oh, oh, oh I, I know a few. I know a few that are on Good Morning America. I'm not saying anything. I'm done now. But anyway, Paul, <laughs> Jamie, wow. Sean, Kristen, Chris, Aaron, and Matthew. And that won't make it in the shot either. But anyway, thank you guys for taking the time. <laughs> thank you for taking the time to speak with me. Um, you guys were a whole lot of fun. I know I've done ran over nine minutes, but um, I probably will never do this again. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> for... Uh, for the time. This was a whole lot of fun. And uh, you guys take care. Be well. Have a great week. And I'm definitely going to be watching. Let me give a tune-in plug real quick so everyone that's watching knows when to watch. All that airs Saturday at 9 p.m. East Standard Time Pacific on Nickelodeon. Come on, let's all sing it out, everyone. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. That's the Zoom version. The Zoom version where we're all drunk. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Like, All right, guys. What time is it? <laughs> I, know. I, I know. It's like I'm three something in the ahead. afternoon. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All, All right, guys. Take care. Be well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Bye.